hi guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you guys are new please subscribe if you guys have not already so today i am going to be doing a recreation look um so i found this girl actually on tiktok her name is beats by deb so check her out on instagram i actually started following her she does really cool tutorials and i've been wanting to do something more creative just because we've been indoors i've been like kind of not as inspired as usual but I saw her video and I was like, I have to try to recreate this look. I think she said in her um, comments or in her description that she actually got the idea from someone else as well. So um, I did get it from her, so I'm giving her credit here. Please follow her. Like I said, she's an amazing makeup artist. So basically it's like a butterfly eye look. So today I'm gonna be trying to recreate that. This is my first time trying, so stick with me let's try to follow along i'll put her video up beside me i'm gonna be watching as i go as well just for things that i may have forgotten so let's get started so to create this look i'm gonna be using the james charles artistry palette which i know you guys see me use this all the time but honestly i can create pretty much any look off of this one palette so i just continue to go back to it so it looks like the first step that she does is to pack on the purple. So I'm going to be working with two different brushes here to apply that. Um, so I'm going to take the deepest purple from the Artistry palette, which is this one right here. So I'm going to pack that on. So it looks like she starts halfway to the crease. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Stubs obviously right at the outer corner. Obviously, she also goes underneath the eye, which I think I'm gonna go in with this more tapered brush underneath the eye for the bottom of the butterfly wing. And I'm basically just trying to create that like wing look at the bottom. Looks like the next step that she does is to apply the blue. So I'm gonna go in with this blue here and go over the purple. So I already feel like I'm running out of room. I don't know if this girl, I feel like she has a bigger eyelid than I do, or I don't know if I do my brows too low, but I'm like freaking out because I feel like I'm running out of space. So basically you're gonna outline all of the wing with this blue. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna go in those areas that I don't wanna really make a mess out of. It's so weird to do like makeup underneath the eye like this. Like I I think this is the first time that I've ever done a look like this. Um, but it feels good because it feels good to step out of my comfort zone. And sometimes we just have to do that. Like in order to succeed and to, you know, do the things that we want to do in life, we sometimes have to do that. So if I can do it guys, you guys can do it too. And this is the perfect time too with quarantine and everything going on. Alright, 
Okay, so I think that looks pretty good so far. Um, so next, it looks like she goes over the exact same thing with the green. So, I'm gonna take this really tapered brush because we're running out of space here. So I'm just gonna go in with the one from this palette. So once you do this look, you'll see that it's actually not as complicated as it seems. I mean, I'm doing it for the first time, but it's actually just repeating your steps. Okay. I'm just checking that everything's blended, guys. Because I don't know if you have any tail and I ain't trying to get clocked for that, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, see, so what's the next step? Okay, so now it looks like is when she puts that yellow in the inner corner. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go in with the yellow from the palette, which is just above the green. And I'm just gonna take this right in this inner corner. Okay. You could look special for the green. So I'm just going in in the inner corner and I'm stopping right where I end, where I started the green. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but the yellow is in there. I can definitely see it close up. Um, this is what it looks like so far. So now she cuts the crease because we're going to put some colors in there. So to do so, I'm just going to take a flat concealer brush. Okay, so I'm going to take my Juvia Space concealer, take some on the back of my hand. And she pretty much stops halfway and it kind of like blends in. I want to make sure that the blue and the yellow show so... So what I've learned with cutting the crease is just to follow your actual eyeball lid, like feel in there where it kind of stops. Because if you go above it, it just, one, it doesn't look realistic, and two, you can go overboard with it. All right, so this is what the eye looks like cut. And let's take a look at what the next step is. I'm actually, I feel like I want this to go into the corner. So it looks like it goes in from a yellow to a light pink to a, or kind of like yellow, orange, light pink, dark pink. <sighs> okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna take the yellow in our small brush. Okay, so I'm actually gonna bring you guys in a little bit more. So, let me go into that yellow.
Okay, so I think I have a rich amount of color down. So we're gonna do the orange next. Like I said, you're gonna go into the light pink, which I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this light pink first and then this darker pink and then blend it out with this lighter purple, which will mix with that dark purple that we put in there. So light purple first, sorry, light pink first. Alright, so this is what the eyes looking like right now, guys. I think once we outline it and everything, it'll kind of come together. Okay, so she takes a pink glitter, which I'm just gonna do a shimmer instead. Okay, so I'm using this ColourPop um, palette. It's the Fortune palette. And the shimmer color I used is Jackpot, which is this one down here. I'm taking this small liner brush to apply it. And it's just to give us a little bit of shimmer. I don't really want glitter underneath my eye. All right guys, so this is what the eye looks so far. So let's take a look and see what she does next. So she's gonna line her eye. So to do this, I'm gonna use the Super Skinny Eye Marker from NYX in the color Carbon Black. So it looks like she basically outlines her eye outward. And I think I'm gonna have to do this, this part out more because I don't feel like Feels like she goes past her brows significantly. for what some reason there's like a patchiness there um i keep layering but it's not really doing anything so i'm just gonna roll with the punches and just to be grateful we got this far <laughs> so now like i said we're gonna outline So one line done, let's go to the other step, which obviously is just gonna be to, okay. So what she does is, okay, so we're gonna go in the inner corner, kinda curve it. I'm 
my gosh. Okay, so you saw how I, I went in, kind of curved it out. She also makes like these two lines. One there and then one right yeah. So now she just goes into those areas and puts small and big dots everywhere. And to do this, I'm going to be using NYX white liquid liner. This part, you can kind of get creative, just do whatever you feel like. Kind of made a boo boo, but I'm going to fix it. If you go out of line, just take a spoolie and just kind of push it out. And guys, no one's gonna notice the mistakes unless you're like zoomed in as I am. So I'll be your guys' guinea pig. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go back in, add some more color where I need to. All right guys, so I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, add some lashes and mascara and I'll be right back, okay? All right guys, so this is the final look. So I like how the eye that I did off camera looks better than the one I did on camera, but what can you do? So please leave a comment down below what you guys thought about this look. Um, I think I should have used more natural lashes just so you can see like the um, cut crease that I did and the colors that are there, but I'm not about to take these lashes off. So if you guys enjoyed this look, please give it a thumbs up, go follow. Um, Beats by Deb. I'm gonna leave her info down below. She is an amazing MUA. But that is it, you guys. If you're new, please subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and send me pictures if you guys recreate this look because I'd love to see how it looks. But thanks very much, guys. See you on the next one. Mwah.